Using AND and OR is probably the single most powerful search technique you can use. People who are good searchers use this all the time because it's really effective. And it's something that you can use in every single database, not just the one that we're illustrating with today. To see how it works, let's try out a sample search. Let's say that you're doing your research about worldview and uh, you just want to get a feel for how much is written about it. So you type in the word and see what we get. We got 2,601 articles on that have something, some mention of worldview. Well, let's say that what we're really interested in is worldview among college students. I don't want to scroll through 2,000 plus articles figuring out which ones have to do with college students. That's not a real efficient use of, of my time. What we want to do instead is say worldview and college students. This word and is a special command in a research database. It means that I want articles that combine both of these search terms. I don't want everything that has to do with worldview. I don't want everything that has to do with college students. I want only articles that have both of those ideas in them. When we do the search this way, we go from 2,000 plus articles that aren't really relevant to what I want Look how it knocked it down to 121. That is a really powerful search feature. With just that one thing, we knocked it down to a more manageable set of results that's more in line with what I'm looking for. We can narrow it down further if we want to. Maybe um, I want to know how a college students' worldview is developed. So I could say, and development. Every time you and a concept together, you narrow your results because you're giving database more criteria that it has to match. So when we do the search that way, we go from 121 articles down to 32 results. But once again, they're a little bit more in line with what I want. Now what I'm going to do is page down just to kind of see the results we're getting and check the relevancy. And let's see if we can figure out ways that we can expand the results to get more articles but still keep it on topic. Um, one of the things that I see here is that some of the articles use worldview as two words instead of one. So maybe I need to incorporate that in the search. Let's go back up to the top, to my search bar. And this time, what I'm going to do is figure out some synonyms for the key concepts that we've already used. Like instead of worldview as one word, maybe I want to say worldview or worldview like that. And I'm going to use parentheses to keep my concept straight. Notice that we've got the word OR in here. OR is the word that you want to use when you're connecting synonyms or alternative words to search for. It could be either worldview as one word or worldview as two words. We could even add a third term in here or um, ideology. Or if you think of some other words that kind of mean the same thing, you could OR that into it too. Um, and let's see what we get when we do this. We should get a little bit more results because we're giving the computer more choices to look for. We went from 32 articles to 176. That looks pretty good. Maybe we can play around with synonyms and expand it out a little bit more. Instead of development, remember our synonym connector or formation. We could say that. Let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, 176 versus 192. 
Um, we might even could play around with this term college students. Maybe we could think of an alternative word for that, like college students or undergraduates. The possibilities are endless, but all we're doing is using the word and and or to, to connect our search terms, and you can see what a difference it makes. Um, we still maintain the relevancy of the articles that we're getting, but we're able to really affect the number of results that we get and keep it within a manageable level. That's the power of and and or for you. So when you're thinking about structuring your search, keep a couple of things in mind. Remember to strip out all the unnecessary words. Don't type your search term in as you would say it. Just identify the main concepts. Take out any little words like A and B and among and stuff like that. You should only have your main concepts and a connecting word like and or or between them. Remember that and always gives you less hits. The more things you and together, the less you get. And you can use that to combine different concepts like we did with worldview and college students. Or, on the other hand, gives you more hits. And that's what you use to string together your synonyms. If you try something and you're not getting enough, try to think of an alternative word and or it into your search statement. By using those ands and ors, you can really influence the results you get and cut down your research time considerably.